This is how to crochet the modified sedge stitch. It's a very beginner friendly stitch because all you need to know is how to make a single crochet and a double crochet. We're going to start with an even number of chains and then we're going to add our first single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Then we're going to add a double crochet into the same chain. The difference between the sedge stitch and the modified sedge stitch is that the regular sedge stitch has a half double crochet in between the single and the double crochet. For the next stitch, we're going to skip one chain and then add a single crochet and a double crochet into the same chain again. And then we'll skip again and put a single and a double into the next one all the way until the end of our chain. Then once you get to the end of the chain, you're going to add a single crochet into the very last chain. And like always, I'm skipping through the bulk of the middle just to keep it short and sweet. I think I'll keep it at normal time for projects, but for the stitch tutorials, I'll just continue to speed through the repetitive parts. But I'm using this stitch as part of Annie's crochet kit. This one is block seven. I had to find out what the name of the stitch was because I didn't want to just call it Annie's block seven. But um, I am going to try and make a stitch tutorial on each one of their blocks without giving away the pattern itself. But if you want to check them out, they have a really, this is the sampler afghan. And I'm, I've already made one before. This is my second one actually. So if you want to work on it together, I'll be posting the videos here. But for the last stitch, we're just going to add a single crochet into the very last chain. And then here are the written instructions in case you want to practice reading a pattern. And be sure to like and follow. For row two, we are going to chain one. And then we'll turn and add a single crochet and a double crochet into the first stitch. Then we are once again going to skip the next stitch and then add a single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. That is going to be the repeat for the rest of the stitch. So every row after this one is going to start with a chain one and turn for the turning chain, and then a single crochet and a double crochet both into the same stitch, and we're skipping stitches in between. And then we're going to put a single crochet into the very last stitch. I do have the written instructions at the end of this video if you want to screenshot them. But this is how you crochet the modified sedge stitch. If you wanted to add a border to your swatch, I would, or the pattern recommends going down a hook size and then adding single crochet around all four sides. But if you enjoy these kind of close-up stitch tutorials, be sure to like and follow. I'm trying to post them every single day again. And if you have any questions about this stitch or would like to request another stitch, you can leave that in the comments of any of my videos. And that's it. Here I'm just adding a single crochet into the very last stitch. You do not have to worry about working into the turning chain itself. But I'll see you next time.